blood flow restriction therapy, the most incredible innovation in exercise therapy in the last century, it was developed in Japan nearly 60 years ago, but stuck in Japan until literally this last decade before it was transferred to the United States. There's a fascinating history of how and why it got to the United States and the, and the innovations that had to occur before it could be more widely adopted and available to everyone so they can get all these incredible metabolic benefits. When I met Dr. Sato, he said to me very uh, softly, he's a very humble man, uh, very, has a very soft voice, and he says, oh, I was waiting for you. And I said, oh, really? I said, I didn't even know about you until three days ago. And he said, well, I've been anxious to share this with the rest of the world. And he says, I think everybody in the world should be doing katsu. And Dr. Sato and the researchers theorized that it was replicating heavy exercise and therefore the HGH, the human growth hormones were being secreted. And that was leading to increased muscle tone or increased muscle mass. I have no problem putting this on my parents. They're 82 and 83. Uh, they use katsu daily, sometimes twice a day. They have their own unit. Their muscular form is great. Uh, they're, they, they're very active. Uh, my mother uses it in the pool and for her arthritis. My father uses it for his varicose veins and while riding a bike. They've used katsu through hip replacements, uh, knee replacements, um, etc. They, they do not go to a physical therapist after their surgeries. They just come home and they know how to use the katsu bands themselves. That was my original goal. How can I help my own parents as they age to remain as active in my children's life, their grandchildren's lives as possible? And, and it's so far proved uh, an immense benefit.